go. I'm drinking uh, our oyster stout here at Hen House. It's a 4.9, it's a lower alcohol, it's a nice dry stout that we use oyster shells and whole oysters in. It was once said, always start with oysters. So, here we begin. Mill Valley Beer Works and, and South Park collaborating on an oyster Belgian strong. With a good amount of spice, we're using orange peel, coriander, bay leaf, cinnamon, oyster. Hey, I'm Brian with Pack Brew Lab. We are here at Thirsty Bear with Brendan Doble, master brewer, and we're brewing the Black Sea Common. One of the few ways that we can put like a local terroir in our beer is by using local oysters. Calcium carbonate from the shells and sea salt changed the concentration of minerals in the wort and therefore changed the pH of the beer. Achieving the optimal pH for enzymatic activity in the mash tun allows for the breakdown of starches into simple sugars so the yeast can consume the sugars that create alcohol in beer. Drake's Bay Oyster Farm has the perfect aquacultural environment for harvesting oysters. Pacific oysters thrive in brackish waters, with salinity between 20 to 25 parts per thousand. Hi Kevin. Brian, nice to finally meet you. Great to meet you. I brought you some beer. You did? I came up to harvest some oysters to use in a beer for SF Beer Week. I don't think it gets any better. It almost like freshens up the beer. We wanted to bring in as many local businesses as we could. It'd be amazing if uh, we could use your oysters. If you go to Drake's Bay, it's immediately apparent that it's a special place. It feels like the American dream, you know? It's people doing what they love in a beautiful place with what they have. I've been involved with the small batch brewing community in San Francisco area for a few years. And so it was fa fairly seamless for me to make that transition from home brewing to being at Southpaw. And those connections actually helped me to get where I'm at. Everything leads to a com conversation, which leads to an opportunity. It smells orangey. It's got some spice to it. Yeah. I knew it. Someone took we some. We have an oyster thief. The oysters are plunged into a steeping One, hot kettle of water known four, as the mash tun. Four to six, At 152 seven. degrees Fahrenheit, the oysters along with the malted barley and other ingredients experience a mild enzymatic digestion. You can hear the screaming, can't you? Oh man, this beer is not going to be like vegan. That's not very San Francisco. 50% at the end of the boil is just going to be the shells and the liquor. So who knows where the actual oysters are going to go. <laughs> I still homebrew. I, I, really, I have a passion for it and my wife loves, loves beer, so you gotta keep the wife uh, happy. It's at home, you know, my kitchen's a mess. I'm trying to sanitize things in the bathtub and then I, I was sanitizing everything. Plastic sheets up, you know, because I thought these bugs are gonna get into the beer and make it terrible. locavores and so we wanted to develop beer styles that would have local ingredients and then um, these guys had very delicious uh, examples of oyster stouts and it's, uh, so we could have local uh, oysters and local sea salt, local ocean infused into a style that was classically made on coastal communities. It turned out to be just such a one of our most delicious offerings. Right now I'm adding hops and sea salt and sea salt we use as, as a flavor enhancer to Hopefully bring out more of that uh, roasty and chocolate flavors that that are stout. That are are what stout is are. We all work full-time jobs elsewhere, and then we're here nights and weekends. I hate saying it's like so trying and difficult because we make beer, you know, it's great. At the same time, you know, we're we're working our asses off to make two barrels of beer a week. We took the concept of weekends and threw it right the fuck out of the window. That's what we did. Man, weekends are for pussies, let me tell you. Though, so someday, someday I, I, want, I want weekends back.
Yeah, it's really fun doing collaborations because you sort of come up with uh, new things that you wouldn't normally try um, if it was just your own brewery making it. The thing that makes beer special, and it's not just flavor and alcohol water, is, is that it's a social drink. You go out and you have a beer with the friends, you know? The, the general concept is kind of beautifully simple, just sort of this really like simple core concept that uh, you are essentially preparing food for yeast to eat. Like the creative process of it is sort of infinitely complex. It's expressive to me, like I play music too, and I kind of treat it the same way as like, like making something that reflects you and reflects your environment. That's the reward is because of something you made, you've changed the way that they're perception of beer is. We want to bring in all the people who are excited about beer and we want to give those people a place to meet, a place to talk, and a place to kind of grow a community. For the beer and science connoisseur, the world is my oyster simply means take delight in what nature provides us with a little help from our brewers.